on CFWE 307. Candace Ryan here with you, and I have a very special guest in studio, Noah and Carol, otherwise known as Chubby Cree. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. You are so welcome. If you don't mind, we'll get you a little bit closer to the mic there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you guys have a very special bond, you know, being grandmother and grandson. But there's also something that, you know, a tradition that people don't really see, whereas a, a, a woman drummer or child lead. So what you're saying. Yes. So, so when did you, you, you were saying off air that you started teaching Noah traditional songs. How, how old was he? Eight months old. He started teaching me those. Like I was singing the song because he didn't want to sleep, and he started humming the same song, humming to me, and I'm like, <laughs> so I kept singing, and that's how he started picking up. And by the time he was one, he had his first drum, and by the time he was two, he did his first performance without any fear whatsoever. And still to this day, no fear. Yes. So when you ask him to talk. <laughs> So scared. <laughs> I love the fear. That's okay. That's, I mean, we're all waiting for the song. Like we all know yeah. that's why that's why people are here. But uh, Carol, you said it's it's so important for you to teach your your children, your grandchildren tradition. And what has it meant for you as someone who's grown up and and seeing what you have seen to teach? Well, when I was five, my great grandfather told me he was ninety nine. He told me, in the future, you're going to sing. And I looked at him, and I was like, me? What am I going to sing? What's from? He says, you're going to sing with the drum. The reason why we're going to teach you? He says, because we want the women and children to come back to the drum. Because that's the only time anyone's going to hear on this world is of a woman and child sing. And it just kind of like went like that as he taught me how he lived off the land. Uh, he taught me how to build sweats for him. He was a medicine man. Um, I drove for him from the age of nine because I didn't want him to hit the ditch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Even when it was legal, I still drove. <laughs> so, and I continued and he taught me all, like, not just him, it was like the siblings from the great grandparents. Uh, the siblings from the grandparents and their cousins, their brothers. They grew up with all these elders and they taught us the old ways. They told us the stories. We had no water, no power, no gas. So our entertainment was listening to them after we had supper. Like them telling the stories about the old back in the day. So that's how I learned that we medicines they taught us all this stuff and I picked up on it and then when I started having kids I started teaching them and then their kids I've been raising all my grandkids I'm raising 13 oh my gosh and the reason why is because I don't want to see them in fear I don't want to see them going through that what I hear today what I see today I don't want to lose I don't want them to lose the connection I don't want to keep them safe. And going from traditional teachings to something so incredibly modern as TikTok, you guys have taken off viral on TikTok. And that is that on your your page, Noah? Both are. Oh, both your page. Oh, so it's, it is the Chubby Cree page. Yes. And that was at an event this weekend. Uh, last weekend. Last weekend. Yes. And you were over a million views. Yes. Now, the song that, I mean, I, I've only known it as the Roar song, but what is it, what's it called? It's called Rock Your World. Rock Your World. Now, was this written uh, by you guys, or was this passed down? Yeah, this was passed down from uh, Mr. Notante, uh, the original owner of the song. He gave it to Noah and Red Deer uh, at the powwow there two years ago, three years ago, and uh, handed it down to him for Noah to use it whenever he wants and gave it to him. So Noah changed it up a bit where he kind of like, like extra, he puts an extra wind and strength into the roar of rock. He, it sounds good, makes me proud, gives me chills still. 
and it's a part of healing. If you feel something from the song, if you cry, like you feel, you get chills or you get goosebumps, whatever that, that's a part of healing. That's just, that's us letting you release the pain you've been holding or something that you've been feeling or yearning to feel a connection back to your soul, back to your soul. Noah and Carol are from Chubby Cree here. Uh, would you do us all the honor in performing for us? Yes. Let's do it. Do you need a moment to get set up? Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> I may have to lower the volume a bit <laughs> on these microphones. Uh, Noah, they're just setting up with their drums. And go ahead whenever you're ready. Hey, hey, hey. 